in today's video i am going to be answering some of the most asked questions on this channel please subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up share this video and leave a nice comment the first question i have here is what is your plan against cows entering your farm here in nigeria it is no longer news that one of the most challenging aspects of being a farmer is these issues of um, cows entering your farm if you ask me i believe that prevention is better than cure there are communities here in the southwest and even in eastern part of nigeria where herdsmen are not allowed to come into with their cows getting a place like that might be very difficult or very very challenging so as a result i'm going to share with you guys some of the tips and some of the things that i did or i am trying to do with my own farm the first approach you could take is try fencing your farm try and fence your farm if you have the resources that's where you are going to reduce if not prevent them from entering your farm put up a little fence around your farm that is if you are trying to go into farming in a commercial way okay but even if you're not trying to go into farming in a commercial way and you don't have the resources to start molding blocks and putting up a proper fence and all that you know and um, putting up a fence in your farm i think the best thing for you to do you can do all these um local um local fence where you use stick or bamboos you know to put up a little kind of fence around your farm at least that's where anyone who wants to encroach or who wants to enter your farm would know that this is somebody's property another way you could go about this is of course you know that these um herdsmen they do have leaders right so you can as well try to meet one of your leaders um, let them know the location of your farm that you have a farm in social -so area when you have an agreement with them that is what i am talking see all the things i'm telling you guys the one i did for my farm i am still in the process because of you know putting up a, a fence around the farm or well, some farmers around have told me that they did you know to prevent situations like that where that that they tried to meet with the leader their leaders of course you know that these headsmen they have leaders okay so they try to meet up with their leaders and then have some have a meeting with their leader you know acknowledge them or whatever i don't know how how they explained it i'm just sharing with you guys some of the informations that i got that some farmers are doing so according to them they said they met their leaders they explained to their leader that oh they have a farm in social -so area that place they would uh, they would really like them you know to um prevent their boys or prevent their people from bringing cow to their cows to social -so area okay and according to them it's been working for them so you can try either of these two and then the third thing you could also try is if you have the resources as well employ a security in your farm a vigilante whatever these are some of the things that i know that people have told me they did to prevent herdsmen from coming into their farm so you can just give that a try as well and see if it is going to work for you but if you ask me i think the first option which is putting up a fence around your farm is the best option okay there is no way they will jump a fence with their cows I don't think so but if you are leasing a land i don't think it would be wise profit wise trying to build a fence how much are you doing you're starting your business with i think if you are leasing then you should explore the other two options that i just gave you i don't want to be spending so much time on one question because i have over 40 something questions here like you guys can ask questions though. you can ask <laughs> the second question i have is elaborate more on your on the seedling and nursery planting i don't know if i understand what this person wanted to ask me. I think you are asking the kind of seed I planted. I planted platinum in our new site we are using cobra. And then for the nursery, I use cocoa peat and potting soil. What is the budget of the whole irrigation system for the three acres? I filmed a, a detailed video on that, on the whole cost of production per acre. So you can just do the mathematics and then try and multiply the figures and then you get the answer to the question you're asking me right now so the link to the video in question is going to be in the description box for you to see how many seeds does a hybrid tomatoes produce i think um i also did a video on that you can get as high as two kilos per plant and then you can get as low as one kilo per plant or even less depending on how you, you did your own farming like the practices you adopted okay it could vary between one kilo or even less and then two kilos so the next question i have here is how much is one acre in a good location i think if i am to rank all the questions i have been asked on this channel i think this will be the 
most asked question but i have said this multiple times but i'm going to say it again in this video you can get a, an acre of land in places like ocean state some areas in undo state for as low as 500,000 Naira and as high as 2 million Naira. Then for in Lorraine, I think from my recent findings, I think that they sell lands in plots in, in Lorraine um, and not in acres. Okay, so if you are looking to invest in Quara State or buy your land, get your land in Quara State, they sell in plots and I think a plot of land could go as low as 450,000 Naira and as high as 1 million Naira depending on the area again 500,000 Naira just on average for a plot not an acre you can then do the mathematics and then buy as many plots as you want to make up one acre so how do you get a market for your tomatoes if you ask me I think about from production this is the most difficult part of being a farmer the selling aspects the marketing aspects personally i would advise that you find your buyers ahead of time i feel like if you start waiting till your fruits or if you are if you are doing tomatoes bell pepper habanero pepper whatever it is you're doing chili pepper as long as it is one of those perishable goods you should look for your buyers ahead of time if not if not i end up selling your farm produce at a very at a giveaway price okay trust me on that so the best thing for you to do is to advertise tell everybody that you know if you're on social media advertise your whatever you are selling the, the only reason why i don't it look it's looking like i don't advertise as much for now is because we have so many orders like it is almost looking like we are not able to meet up with the orders we are getting okay yes if not <laughs> you people for don't run away from me for this channel you know on top adverts yes so advertise as much as you can when what we are cooking up right now is done you'll see more of my adverts tell everybody tell everybody around you everybody you know if it is possible ring it like a bell that you are into tomato farming Oh, you sell you, your tomatoes are good just try get a good marketing strategy that you start um harvesting in so period give them your date and then um tell them that they can start placing their order from then that way by the time your tomatoes starts to ripen or whatever it is you are cultivating starts to um, mature and then you start harvesting you already you must have already gotten a market at that time is not the time to start looking for markets because if you do that you are going to sell at a very good at a giveaway price okay another place you can sell your farm produce is in the open market have there are markets where you can sell your farm produce as a matter of fact there are farmers market i film a lot of them on this channel ranging from markets where you can sell your plantains where you can sell your tomatoes where you can sell different kinds of farm produce okay i film a lot of them on this channel you can go down through my market blogs you'll see a lot of them those places are where you can sell it at a giveaway price if you want if you are not really into into the whole business from making much profit in quotes go there and sell your farm produce okay there are also markets where you can sell and then make more profits there are markets where you can sell and make little very little profit okay so just choose wisely that is the point i am trying to make apart from that they also have off takers people who, who can come to your farm to buy from you once you start producing once your farm produce is due for harvest they can come with their own crates yes they usually come with their own crates to buy from you there are people like that as well but the only thing is that when you are selling to those people um, if the current market price, for example, is, uh, let's say, for example, if the current market price is 20,000 Naira, those people are going to buy from you at um, 18,000 Naira because you are not transporting your tomatoes from the farm to the market. They are coming. They are the one incurring the cost of production because they are coming from the market to your farm and then when they are done buying from you, they are going to take the tomatoes to the to the market to sell those they kind of deduct about between 1000 naira or 2000 naira depending on your agreement with them so that is another way you can sell your tomatoes and also sell your tomatoes to other businesses some businesses around if you want you can sell to final consumers okay it all depends on you if you're able to secure a contract with some of these big restaurants okay you can also sell and supply your tomatoes to them and of course that's where you are going to make more profits 
I won't tell you more than this for now. Can you put someone through or have any farmer that can put someone through? I can pay for the services, please. Of course, we can put you through. I have a team of professionals. It is a full-blown company, registered and everything. People who have been farming for years, they are professionals, both in theory and in practice. I'm a, I'm a partner, okay? You can also work with us. Just send a direct message to the um, contact written on the screen right now, and then let's pick it up from there. I need you all to realize that sometimes if you are reaching out to me or if you are trying to reach out to me through the contacts I've provided, I might not be the one on the other end, okay? I work with people, like I said, it is a business WhatsApp. A lot of people have access to it. I am not always available to reply WhatsApp DMs. How can you determine if a farmland is suitable for tomato cultivation? I don't know how to put this, but the major way I know um, that some of these professionals determine is um, they will need to visit your farm, of course, to see the vegetation, know the kind of soil it is, they do a soil test, whatever it is, see the vegetation, they tell you what kind of land you are dealing with and if it is going to be suitable for tomato farming. I cannot say more than this because I don't want to say what I do not know. I don't want to give an information that I am not sure of, okay? Is where did you acquire your tomato seeds for planting? and at what cost. Like I said in my previous video, the last video I did filmed about tomatoes, I bought 10 grams of platinum seeds at 35,000 Naira, and then you have an average of 2,600 or 2,000, there are about six in one pack of 10 grams of platinum seeds. You use up to up to 6,000 6, seeds per acre, depending again on how fertile your land is and a lot of other factors that might be considered that you have to consider, okay? For where did I acquire my tomato seeds? You can get that in the market or directly from the company. Like in my own case, I got directly from a company. My business partner introduced me to this company where I get my seed from. So I don't know your location, the person that is asking this question, I do not know your location. So depending on your location, depending on your area, you can get that in the market, okay? So how many crates of tomatoes? did you harvest from one acre. So I filmed a detailed video on how many crates you might be able to harvest on one acre. Just check the description box for that video. And of course, at this point, I need to add that that was just an estimate. You might not be able to get up to that. Yes, have that at the back of your mind so that it is not when you now go into tomato farming and at the end of the day, you did not get up to that. You come and start attacking me in this, in this channel. I don't, I don't have that strength. I don't have time, okay? Yes, so you might not be able to get up to that depending on your practice, depending on the things you did, your soil preparation and everything. It all depends. You might be able to get up to that or even surpass that. It also depends, okay? Yes. What type of tomatoes did you plant? I planted platinum. Exactly. How big is an acre of land? An acre of land is about 4,000 square meters for standard measurements. Simply put, an acre of land is equivalent to six plots of land. The question is how much did you start up with? I filmed a video for an estimated cost of production of one acre of tomato farm. You can check the description box for that. To be honest, at the end of the day, you might end up not spending you know, up to that. Like for example, the cost of fertilizer, I know that somebody did mention to me that that cost is too much. Yes, of course it is too much, but the reason why I told you guys to budget that is that, you know, what if something goes wrong with your farm? You know, I don't, just, like I explained everything to you guys in that video. So. It is just an estimate at the end of the day you might end up spending half of that figure you know in worst case scenario that is how much you are going to spend in worst case scenario okay yes. how many crates can you get for in one plot of land over um 300 crates per acre you should be able to get up to that depending on what you did in your farm i will continue to say this so that you, you will not come back and attack me on this channel depending on what you did on your farm it's all things being equal you should be able to get up to 60 crates, 50 crates, between 50 to 60 crates on a minimum, okay, in the one plus of land. Yes, of course, I have one farmer. There is a farmer recently, I think, um, that, that should be last week, a farmer, I met up with a farmer, This a subscriber actually, called me on phone. This subscriber was like, can I meet up with you? I would like to discuss some things with you. The person is a farmer, okay? The person narrated some story, her story, you know, um, her journey to becoming a farmer, you know, the things she saw. I think she started with about three plots of land and then the, in the first farming season, she she 
she started with one plot in the first farming season and later on she got she cultivated the, the remaining two plots so that's in that one plot of land it did well according to her that it did well but as time went on one of her workers made a very nasty mistake. The worker made a mistake and sprayed her tomatoes with some herbicides. If workers sprayed half of one plot, it's at the end of the day, it affected her tomatoes so badly. And then I asked her how many crates was she able to get at the end of the day. She said she was able to get 40 crates of tomatoes from, from the remaining half plot of land, okay? Um, and, then, you know, and then the one that they sprayed the herbicide on, of course, whatever she could um, rescue from it she was able to get um, 40 crates from that so now imagine if she was able to get that from a plot of land even though all things did not go well everything did not go well how many should you be able to get if you get everything right i don't know if, if i am making sense so on average if you know what you are doing and you do everything well you should be able to get at least on the minimum 50 to 60 crates of tomatoes okay and then on the maximum you should be able to get up to 80 crates or even 90 i've had seen a farmer that said they got up to 90. personally i did not get up to 90 crates i am not even about to start lying to you guys like i told you guys i am not going to come out to this channel to lie to you guys so i'm not even about to start lying so yes but i know that i've had some farmers that said that they got up to that but personally I have not experienced that yet. Okay. How, how long does it take to grow tomatoes? On average, it takes about three months to grow tomatoes to harvest. You see, that is one of the reasons why I prefer, you know, farming some of these um, vegetables to um, livestock farming. I have plans of going into livestock farming in the nearest future, but for now, I am concentrating more on this Kind of farming that i talked to you guys about you invest your money within three months you have your money if i am wrong please feel free to correct me in the comment section let us have this conversation in the comment section which do you think is more profitable between crop farming and livestock farming personally i feel crop farming is very lucrative okay if you have a different opinion let us know in the comment section how much is the salary of a farm worker outside their feeding what's their weekly stipend what is the salary of a farm manager or agronomist as that today that i am filming this video because you all know how things fluctuate in this country the cost of food is going high every day so you do not expect the salary of a farm worker to remain static for sure as price of goods and services keeps on increasing their salary will definitely increase but on average farm workers earn between 50,000 50, naira to 70,000 naira that is what they earn in a month excluding their accommodation and in health insurance okay yes of course if someone is working in your farm you should be able to take care of the person when the person falls sick you are the one that is going to cater for, for your workers treatment you are going to treat them um, ensure that they have the adequate drug you register them if you have the financial what it takes to register them if not at least get them drugs when they are sick right you also get to rent a house for them and of course you tip them from time to time some people pay the salary at the end of the month some other people pay at the end of the year but if those people that are paying at the end of the year what they usually do is they kind of divide the salary into two they pay half within the month so that the worker in question will be able to at least feed with their salary and then um, at the end of the year they total the remaining half and then pay the worker as their salary so it all depends on your agreement with the worker in question or the agent that you are using so on average they earn between 50,000 to 70,000 naira depending as of today that I'm filming this video for a manager I think a manager, the salary of a manager still depends on you. You are the one doing the employee. You are the one employing a manager. You are the one that knows how much you, sh you can afford. I don't know if, you, if I am making sense. It's just like when you are starting up a hotel, you know how much you, should, you can afford to pay. I don't know if that is making sense. Just like um, in organizations, okay, outside farming, 
some companies pays higher than other companies it all depends on you so for the cost of getting an agronomist i shared that in my last video in the video that i'll be linking in the description box of course that is if you are looking to get a professional and not just anyhow agronomist okay it's so what are the costs of farm inputs farm inputs per acre for example seeds Item, items used for staking, annuals used for transplanting seeds, fertilizer, pesticides, herbicides, and all. I believe you must have seen my previous video, so I don't know if that video answers your question. I also wish to add at this point that when I was farming, the manure I used before transplanting, you saw me in the video, I applied a manure before transplanting. The manure I applied before transplanting, as at that time, which was towards the beginning of the year, um, towards the, which was the first quarter of the year, we bought one bag of manure for 400 naira. One bag for one bag, yes. <laughs> it's that cheap. It is that cheap in those states. That cost should also be included in the cost of fertilizer. So land clearing and process slash cost. How much it costs? I believe you are asking how much will it cost to clear your land? Well, it all depends on how big and how large your land is. You have workers that you can just get for the day. In the clearing that I did, I did last month, I used ad hoc workers okay so i didn't use my permanent workers because the land is much so it will be difficult for them to be able to clear the whole farmland so the ad hoc workers i employed their services i paid them seven thousand naira per day for one worker you pay seven thousand naira per day okay if you are getting them from outside and then some people might charge you as low as five thousand naira per day it depends on your agreement with them and then at the end of the day you pay them they work between 8 a.m to 2 p.m about either 2 p.m or 4 p.m depending on your agreement with them those that i got in my farm they started working around 10 a.m and they closed by 4 p.m that was my agreement with them okay so and then of course i need you to bear in mind that if you are using this kind of workers those you pay per day whether or not they finish to your work your agreements with them will be over yes it will be over so you can either do that or you can do um try and agree with them you know instead of paying them per day you pay them for the job or you pay them for one acre you pay them per acre but most of them, they hardly agree to that arrangement, mainly because average people don't like working. So there is no way they, that I believe that is why they prefer that per day agreement. So that as much as they, they were able to do, they might just, um, they will just tell you that their agreement with you is over. And at the end of the day, they will just go. I regretted using that method in my own farm. But then you might not regret it if and only if you were there to supervise what they are doing. They make sure that they are working as they ought to be working. Whereas your workers in your farm can also join them and the work and clear the farmland if depending on your agreement again with them. For me personally, I employed people I was paying daily and then personally I paid 7,000 Naira. I know some farmers that said that they paid as low as 4,000 Naira. Some said they paid as low as 5,000 Naira. I paid the people that I employed 7,000 Naira per person per day to work from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. That was how much I paid them. What is the planting population per acre of farmland? I have answered that 6,000, between 6,000 to 10,000. Some farmers do as high as 10,000, uh, but I would recommend 6,000 depending on your land. But why do you want to switch from platinum seed variety to the likes of Cobra F1? Well, um, I think the major reason here for me is the market value. It is not the same price. Cobra is more expensive in the market, depending on where you are selling again. From the people I sell to, Cobra is more expensive. So that is why I am switching because I already have the market. I've discussed with some of you guys, some of my subscribers that said they are not necessarily here to make profit. That is fine for you. I am here because I want to make money. I am not hiding it. I am going for things that I feel will earn me more money. Then the next question I have here is, what is your marketing strategy like? I think I've answered that question to an extent. I might not be able to give out everything like that. Okay, of course. If I give out everything, why is it now a strategy? <laughs> I've seen other interview videos on tomatoes farming where the farmer mentioned that it is highly lucrative. Were you able to realize your expectations 
post harvest also from your personal experience how really lucrative is tomato cultivation let me be honest with you guys tomatoes farming is very very lucrative but there are other aspects of farming that are even more lucrative than tomato farming that i am going to be sharing on this channel very soon like i already told you guys that we are diversifying we are not concentrating more on tomatoes in this season tomato farming is very lucrative but i must tell you that it is more lucrative when you are if you are farming cultivating in dry season if you are doing dry season farming irrigation farming whatever you farm cultivate in february harvest may june you are going to make more profit that way if not well it might not be very 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 lucrative it is still profitable you are still going to make your profit um if you have the right market but if you do not you might not really make much profit if you do not have the market the price of tomatoes is coming down as i am talking to you right now i know some farmers who that still sell their tomatoes as high as fifty thousand naira even though tomato price is dropping simply put was i able to realize my expectations post harvest partially yes partially yes because i made some mistakes which of course like i said i will still share some of those mistakes in in in, in, an, in another video okay that is why i said partially yes but despite the fact that i made a lot of mistakes like some of the some of the things i did then i didn't get right i was still able to uh, make profit i will still say it is very lucrative if you farm off season but if you really don't mind about you know the, the profit margin how big it is how wide it is you can still do all, all around all around farming you will still make your money okay what are the measures you put in place to prevent theft from workers and external entities so some of the measures i put in place in my own farm to prevent theft both from workers and um external entities is first i installed a cctv camera in my farm like i said in my first video on this channel i have a camera on my farm so right now i might decide to take up my phone and then view what is going on in my farm or what the workers what my workers is doing in my farm i have that here on the phone so yes i can always always from at any time any day monitor my farm remotely and one thing i know that a lot of other farmers do is they get security they employ security to watch their farm okay could be local vigilantes even if you cannot afford employing them for the whole farming season or throughout the year once your tomatoes or whatever it is you are cultivating or you are doing starts to fruit or starts to bear fruit or starts to ripen get one security at least one and put in your farm then i think it should last for about a month i know some people do harvest for as high as five times okay so that should be within within a month or more just within one month you should be done with your harvest pay the person for one month that one month you are harvesting or that one month when your tomatoes starts to ripen they are going to watch over your farm for you okay these are the major th two major things that I think you can do to prevent something like that so you know what they say if you want your things to start to stop missing put them under the care of a thief it is only a thief that will be able to watch it for you properly so if you are in a community and you feel that you want the community or you feel like those in the community might steal your property or might steal your your farm produce get someone from that community pay them to monitor your farm pay them to watch and then give you information on what is going on in your farm or around your farm and they are going to deliver that is what i am doing that is what i did in my own farm these are some of the things that i did in my own farm so what is the cost of your cctv so for my cctv i spent as at the time that i bought it i bought one for hundred and forty thousand naira it has two cameras in it the name of the camera i bought is v380 you came with a solar panel dual camera i think two cameras in it okay then you can buy as many as you want for me in my own case i bought as much as i thought i would need in my farm so that was what i did so you can also do that as at the time i bought it i bought it about hundred and forty thousand naira installation shouldn't be more than ten thousand naira if those that you bought it from are going to do the installation it should not be more than ten thousand naira. as a matter of fact it is not even difficult to install it is something that you can have someone put one or two wires together and then 
everything will be in place okay so if i invest a million naira on this how much can i get in return within six months now first of all you should be looking at your returns within let's say four months maximum four five months maximum so yes and then uh, if you should invest 10 million naira please already filmed a video on that check the video in the description box you are going to watch and then you are going to have an answer to your question the next question i have here is can 8 million naira be enough for cost of producing simply put can 8 million naira be enough to produce 10 acres of tomato farmland no hell no it is not going to be enough there is no way on earth 8 million naira can be enough for you to produce 10 acres of tomato farm except of course if you are farming during the rainy season you are not doing any irrigation but even at that if it is your first time 10,000 naira uh, sorry 8 million naira cannot be enough okay it's cost of irrigation of course i already filmed a detailed video on that where can i buy the irrigation hose you can buy that in the market my dear go to the open market ask questions they should be able to direct you today and of course you are going there be careful of those people who will add money for you if you are looking to save costs yes can i see available land for rent i mean i think you mean for lease yes of course you can see there are lands for lease i already filmed that in a video in my last video you will see the cost of um leasing a land okay and then the next question i have here is what is the weight of a crate of tomatoes a crate of tomatoes i think weighs about 25 kg i think if i am not right i'll probably write the correct um wait for you guys on the screen to see the next question i have here is are your workers aware of the cctv will it deter them from stealing your produce what should we do to deter them my workers are aware of the cctv yes initially they were not aware but now i think they are very much aware because sometimes i do speak to them i do talk with them if i want to talk with all of them at once i can talk to them through the cctv camera of course when they are working in the farm so they should be aware that there are cameras in the farm so does it will it deter them from selling your produce of course i think it should nobody in their right senses will go ahead and still knowing fully well that there are cameras there and knowing fully well that you can play back at any time and catch them stealing your farm produce of course it deters them to an extent what should we do to deter them i've already given you guys an answer to that question is it only organic manure you use throughout before harvesting the tomatoes or you applied chemical fertilizers as well i did not use only organic i don't want to lie how do you protect your camera from the rain it, my camera the camera i'm using is rainproof okay so the rain will not destroy it i've had it for almost one year now and it is still working perfectly do you have security issues with headers i do not have security issues with headers at all i have never had security issues with headers okay i have never experienced that i know some workers some farmers experience it but personally i have never experienced that so the next question is issues with do you have issues with criminals from the community no i have never had issues with any criminal in the community so some of the farmers i have spoken with or i, I interacted with say they don't meet the sariki the sariki of the headers uh, or the ballet of the community where they are cultivating or the igwe of the community where they are farming you know to discuss with them and then of course they are going to tell their subjects to keep off your farmland stay away from so 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 stay away from kosaik farm the next question is how do you monitor your produce so your workers do not steal them in your absence i think you guys are so 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 interested in this whole stealing of a thing i think i've answered that question multiple times so let me move on to the next question why is the price of food produced produced locally in nigeria expensive mm. there are many reasons why the price of goods produced locally in nigeria are very expensive number one is the removal of subsidy is affected so many things the second one is cost of production you cannot be running a high cost of production or um, spending so much in production and then selling whatever it is you produce at a giveaway price of course you have to make profit so cost of production 
affects the price of locally produced food. It's demand and supply, forces of demand and supply, most especially tomatoes, it affects it so much. When you have more buyers than sellers, the price is definitely going to go up. Then when you have more sellers than buyers, the price is definitely going to to come down okay how much is a crate of tomatoes i've said this multiple times that a crate of tomatoes fluctuates so much most especially here in nigeria it fluctuates there is no fixed price today you might go to the market they are selling a crate of tomatoes 40,000 naira. next tomorrow go back to the same market they'll be selling it 15,000 naira. the next day go back again you see them selling it the same crate they sold 15,000 naira yesterday they'll be selling it 25,000 naira. It is like that, okay? But sometimes um, it do come down and then it remains um, steady for some time. Okay? Javier is how did you get into farming and how long does it take from planting to harvesting? It takes approximately three months from planting to harvesting. So yes, I do not think I will continue to answer more questions because I've been talking for, I've been filming this video for close to two hours. God knows how long I've been talking. Like I've been talking for close to two hours and I don't want this video to be too lengthy. Probably this video might not be up to two hours, but I just want you to know that I've been, young girl have been talking for two hours. So by the time I finish cutting out the unnecessary advice and the unnecessary long talk, um, it should come down a little bit. So this is going to be the la end of the last question I am going to answer for today. Subsequently, I'll be going live on the channel with some professionals in this farming field. Since a lot of you seem to be so interested in farming, very soon I'll start going live. I'll still announce that on my community. Please follow this channel, subscribe to this channel, give the video a thumbs up, share this video, and of course, turn on your, when you're subscribed, Turn on the notification button, the notification bell, so you get notified anytime I upload a new video and anytime I share a post in my community. Okay, so I will be announcing to you guys when I'll be going live with some experienced farmers, some people who have been farming for a very, very long time. I'll be going live with them very, very soon. So I am going to share that on in my community tab. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. That will be it for this video. So see you all in the next video. Bye. I love you guys.